how much you sleep last night? Well, probably up one. Huh? <laughs> Asked you at the wrong time, didn't I? <laughs> I had to get up once and uh, go to the bathroom, but before that, I woke up about 2.30 on the couch. Sounded like something down in my canoe. Huh. And you know, I had the worms in there and I hop. Uh -huh. And then I thought I could hear plastic. And you were over there sleeping, I knew it wasn't you. Okay. So, yeah, kept listening, kept listening, and that was it. Okay. <laughs> now, this morning I went in there, nothing had been in there at all, nothing yeah. had been disturbed. Uh, I, was, I was dreaming, had some stupid dreams. <laughs> oh, God, that's stupid. The, the last dream I had stuff was, uh, I decided to open a business in Ely. <laughs> that that might not be a bad dream, <laughs> but no idea. And, uh, Found this place that uh, business was closing down and leaving the, the place vacated. Of course. And I was kind of checking the building out. And I started wondering, well, what kind of a business should I open here? And, uh, uh, ran into my one friend who lives in the area. He said, what do you think Ely needs in the way of a business? He says, well, you know, I think we could really use an arts and crafts store here. <laughs> <laughs> so all of a sudden I get all excited about opening an arts and crafts store. And of course I can have some little bit of photography in there. And stuff yeah. Like that. <laughs> and I wake up and five minutes later, after I wake up, it's like, what do you want? <laughs> that type of thing for? <laughs> At your age. It was breezy the morning of September 29th, but not quite as much wind as the previous day. This would be the last full day of the trip, and I really wanted to visit Hook Lake. So after breakfast, Jim and I headed out on a day trip.
After a short paddle on Slim Lake, we headed across the 75 rod portage to Rice Lake. By the time I finished portaging, Jim had already caught a couple of perch on Rice Lake. He decided to hang out on Rice for some more fishing, so I continued to the Hook Lake portage by myself. The portage between Rice and Hook Lakes is 130 rods long, but other than the landings, is quite a pleasant carry. It was especially nice with all the autumn color.
I especially like the stand of pines at the Hook Lake end of the portage. I had hoped to make it to the Hook Lake campsite for lunch, but ended up having it at the end of the portage instead. What a great place for a rest and a bite to eat. After exploring the shoreline a bit, I landed at the campsite, one of my favorites in the whole wilderness area. This is the campsite on Hook Lake. Here's my canoe sitting down there. I can remember that being a lot weedier when I've been here before. Coming over this way. Look at that view. It's absolutely gorgeous. And of course, I've given campsite tours of this site before, but in case you miss them or don't remember them, it's uh, really nice. It's got all these big old pine trees in here. Here's the kitchen area. Look at all this wood that somebody stacked up. Isn't that amazing? Um, now, trying to remember what we got for tent pads in here. A 
believe I've used this area over here for my tarp. Not absolutely sure. Tent could go in there. Back here among the maples. It's another campsite or another tent site. Not a really good one. That might be the latrine trail back there. I don't know for sure. There's a tent site. Tent pad here. a hollow in the middle of it. Sloped tent pad here. Here's a better tent pad here. Getting a little bit away from the lake, but not too bad. Big, huge tent pad back here. Good. Nice and level. Could actually fit two or three tents back here, depending on how big they are. You get a glimpse of the lake from up here. Okay, this might be the latrine. This looks like there's a latrine trail back in here. Somebody's bag sitting there. So if this is the latrine trail, <laughs> it's a long one. Yep, there's the throne. There you go. Older style, no red. All too soon, it was time to head back to Slim Lake.
With daylight fading fast and the wind continuing to blow, it was obvious that we would not get an evening paddle in. But the perch that Jim caught almost made up for that. Supper tonight is perch appetizers followed by lasagna and meat sauce. So here's what we did today. Took a day trip. Of course, this is our campsite on Slim Lake. We came up and we took the 75 rod portage into Rice Lake. Um, Jim did a little, started doing some fishing just after the portage and started catching some perch so he decided to stay there and continue fishing well, I went over and I did the 130 rod portage into Hook Lake from there I went and I explored up here as far as I could get and then I came down along this shoreline here the North Shore I found the start of the uh, what is it, 520 rod portage into Big Rice Lake. I just saw the start of it. I didn't bother getting out of the canoe. And I came and explored the south part of this arm. Came around the corner and I spent some time just chilling on the campsite there on Hook Lake. Then after a while I went back and I started doing the 130 and I met Jim coming the other way. So I took one load over to the end of the portage which was my canoe. And then I came back and I waited here for Jim because he went on down and checked out the campsite, came back, and then we both retraced our steps back to the campsite here. So that was our day today. Well, we had another fantastic day here on Slim Lake, uh, although we didn't stay on Slim Lake. Uh, Took that day trip over to Rice Lake and then Hook Lake. Another gorgeous, gorgeous day. Just phenomenal how many days we've been able to string together here. So nice. But anyway, this is our last night here. Tomorrow we'll be heading back out again. So, been a great time. Wonderful time. And, uh, yeah, so thanks for watching, and remember to like and comment, subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you on trail, whatever you're otherwise. Nipping Mox out.